bookworms welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new my name is Antonisha Lachey I am Mrs. Moody Reader and today we are talking about all the series that I am currently in the middle of okay so I have seen this video going around booktube here recently and I decided I did want to film this video because I'm in the middle of a lot of series and sometimes I'm really bad about starting a series and not finishing it so I want to have a record of the series that I'm in the middle of. Um, first of all these are only going to be the series that I have physically on my shelf so these are not um, series that maybe I read the first book from the library and I don't own any of them or ebooks or anything like that. Um, sorry, Discord is going crazy. <laughs> but um, these are just the series that I physically own and have on my shelf. Um, and I will be doing another video probably around July or so since it'll be about mid-year talking about series that I want to finish before the year is over. So some of these series will probably be on there and maybe there will be a few more like duologies or trilogies maybe that I want to get through by the end of the year that I have not currently started. So let's go ahead and get started. I will not be doing um, synopses for each of these books or the series. Um, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 books <laughs> or 15 series that I'm talking about right now. So I won't be doing synopses for them because we would be here forever and also because I have already talked about these books on my channel at some point in time. Um, so yeah. So first I'm going to start with the series that I am like currently actively reading. Um, so the first one is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. I am currently reading this book right now. Um, I am reading this, I've talked about it again, for the um, talk along that Chandler Ainsley is doing on her Instagram and um, Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte is kind of following along and we're having chats in Olivia's Patreon for her dis or in her Discord for her Patreon. So we are reading this. So I'm currently reading Throne of Glass. Um, I will hopefully be done with this this week because I have the second book, um, Crown of Midnight, as a prompt for a readathon that I am doing in June. So definitely need to get this one done this week. Um, the next book that I'm currently reading is our next series is um, An Ember in the Ash. This is part of the Ember in the Ashes quartet. Um, I am reading this. This is the group book for the May the Force Read With You Star Wars based readathon that is happening this month. Um, I'm also participating in the Ember in the Ash along that is being hosted by Steph from Coffees Over Apples, um, Esme from Bookish Buddies, um, and I think two other two other people I can't remember right now. I'm so sorry, but um, I am currently reading this one as well. I am loving it. I'm really loving Throne of Glass right now as well. And I know a lot of people say Throne of Glass is like the weakest one in the series. I'm really loving it and I'm loving this one as well. So I will be reading um, all four of these books back to back. Same thing with Throne of Glass. I will hopefully be finishing the series this year if I keep up with the read along that is currently going on. Um, the next one that I'm currently reading is um, the Expanse series. This is Leviathan Wakes, the first book in the Expanse series. Um, there are currently eight books out and the ninth one is coming out later this year. So this is the book club pick for the Interstellar book club, which is the sci-fi book club that I um, have joined. And this is the pick for this month. Um, the book club will not be continuing the Expanse series, but I will be continuing it. Um, and so I have the next book, Caliban's War, as a book for prompt on the readathon next month so I definitely hope to get this one done this week as well or this month I have a couple extra days after this week is over I believe um and the last one we're not going to talk about very much Harry Potter um I didn't feel like going and pulling out book one this is book four um The Goblet of Fire which is what I'm currently on for those of you who don't know my 10 year old and I are currently buddy reading this series I was supposed to have this read since March and I still haven't gotten it done so I have added this to my list of books that I'm trying to read. Um, 
by the time you see this video, I will still be vlogging. So I am participating in Do The Thingathon, which is hosted by Ashley from A Frolic Through Fiction. Um, it's happening this entire week from the 24th through the 30th. And it's basically a readathon where you focus on whatever reading goals you set for the year. And for me, um, my main goal at this point is just to read more and get my page count up and my book count up. And so, um, I have challenged myself to read 100 pages every day this week. Um, so far it is going pretty well. I am filming this video on Tuesday, so I'm filming it a couple days before you guys see it. Um, yesterday I read 241 pages, so that's how I'm hoping to get through these books. And I just added this one to my list so I can at least start making progress on it because I keep pushing it off. So I want to start making some progress on that. Um, the next series is The Illuminate Files. This is book one. Um, I am, I've already read this one and I have Gemina book two on my, on my radar shelf. Um, I forgot when I read this, April, I think. And I was supposed to read Gemina this month as part of, of my TBR. I do not believe I'm going to get to it this month, but hopefully I will get to it maybe in June. I doubt it with the way my TBR is looking, but hopefully soon I will get this trilogy finished. Um, next one I am reading is just a duology, so I don't know why I don't finish it. And that is the Strange Dreamer duology. I read Strange Dreamer back in January. I loved it. I gave it five stars. First book that I ever like annotated like this and I really, really loved it. So I just need to read Muse of Nightmares because it's just a duology. I do not know why I'm not wanting to read it. I think part of it is because I really, really, a lot of people don't like Lainey Taylor's, um, flowery writing style in this i absolutely love it and i don't want to read it and be done with it um i know she has the daughter of smoke and bone trilogy i believe let me know if you know if the daughter of smoking bone daughter of smoke and bone has the same type of writing style i know um there have been even people i know that like daughter of smoke and bone but don't like her writing style in this i think they say it's extra flowery but I really, really enjoy it, especially for the theme that this book has, so, or this, tr this duology has, so I can always just read Daughter of Smoking Bone, but I just don't want to be done with this just yet, which is why I keep putting off Muse of Nightmare, so I need to get that done. The next one is the Left Behind series by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. I own this entire series, except for one book that I had all of them, and I believe Total, there are 16 books in this series if you count the three books that are prequels to this one. So I read this one. I've read this book like three times. I've seen the movie a couple times, both movies, um, and I just haven't continued on with it and I really, really want to continue on with it. I'm thinking if I don't get to reading, I will definitely have to reread this book. I'm thinking if I don't get around to reading some of these books this year, which I probably won't, then I will start a read along probably next year um probably in January with this series because I really want to read these back to back to back and not have breaks in between them like a month a piece so like I said if I don't start reading this this year then I will definitely be hosting a read along um starting next year starting in January for this but I really 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 want to get through that series uh, next one is the Millennium Trilogy this is the first one the girl with the dragon tattoo this is another one I've read this book three maybe four times no three times so actually this is the book I've read more than probably any other book but I've read this a couple of times um I've seen the movie god knows I don't know how many times and I just have not moved on to the second book I have not moved on to the second movie um and I just really really want to read it so this book like I said is part of a trilogy um that Sieg Larson wrote and then he passed away unfortunately so David Lagerkrantz continued and wrote another trilogy that starts after the third book in this trilogy and I have all three of those books as well so I really want to um get through that um Elizabeth Salander is one of my absolute favorite fictional characters of all time so I definitely want to continue in this one next one The Poppy Boar by R.F. Kuang um I read this book back in 
December, I think. November, December. I read The Poppy War. Absolutely loved it. I have since purchased the entire trilogy. Um, and so I definitely want to continue with it. Um, I had The Dragon Republic checked out from the library a couple months ago, but I tried to start it and I had forgotten a few things. So I thought I needed to go back and reread this, but then what I realized is just the last couple chapters that I need to um, reread of this before I start the next one. I don't think I have the Dragon Republic plan to read next month. I think I originally had it down for a prompt, but then I changed my mind and decided not to. But this is another trilogy that I definitely need to get to. Um, and hopefully I will be getting to it soon and definitely finishing it before this year is over. Next one on that same vein is the David Bad trilogy. This is book one. This is The City of Brass. Same thing. I read this book at the same time that I read The Poppy War back in November or December. Absolutely loved it. I also had the second book in this series, which is The Kingdom of Copper, checked out from the library a few months ago. Went to read it and realized I had completely forgotten a lot of things. And so I have since purchased this entire trilogy. Um, I'm still waiting on um, Empire of Gold to come in because I did want these UK paperbacks. And Empire of Gold just came out in the UK paperback. And so I think I got a shipping notification that it is on the way. So I will have the complete trilogy. But um, I actually will be rereading this book in June. I'm using this for a prompt for the readathon, um, which is the Shelf Space olympics readathon i think you guys will be seeing that video a couple days after this one goes up you'll be seeing my tbr and my reading plans for june and some reminders about my box office readathon that's also happening in june so i do have this for a prompt um so i will be rereading this so i can continue on to kingdom of copper and finish off the trilogy um next one i'm putting in here but technically I don't know how much how many books are coming out so this is the inheritance games by jennifer lynn barnes i just read this in april and i absolutely loved it i immediately pre-ordered the next book in this series which is the i think it's the hawthorne legacy i believe is the name if it's not i'll put it here but i believe it's the hawthorne legacy i don't know if this is just going to be a duology or if there are going to be more books in the series I'm not sure because the way this ended it makes sense to have another book but I feel like unless the next book brings up a whole nother cliffhanger of something else I think that this may just be a duology but it may be a series I'm not sure but yeah I I really enjoyed this I talked about it when I did a wrap up and so I technically am not I am in the middle of it but it's only because the next book hasn't come out yet I think that book is coming out in either September or November of this year and I will be reading it when it comes out um the next one similar situation and that is Amari and the Knight Brothers I am going to take every chance I possibly can to recommend Amari and the Knight Brothers to everyone and so this is the first in a series I can't remember what the name of the series is um and how many books are supposed to be in it I know this is the first in a series this just came out earlier this year or late last year one of the two um and I read it absolutely love it again recommend it to everyone and so the only reason I haven't continued in this series is because there's no other book in this series out but if you have not read Amari and the Night Brothers you need to read it you absolutely need to read it I highly recommend it to everyone um next one Twilight um I read Twilight for the first time ever uh last summer i can't remember exactly when may or june of last year and i enjoyed it for what it was i had issues with it for what it is we're not gonna harp on it but i do have the the complete series i even pre-ordered midnight sun before i had even read this book and so i have all of them including midnight sun so i do want to at the very least complete the series i did not like the like twilight Hunger Games, Divergent, Game of Thrones. I have not read any of those. I did not read them when they came out because I was not in that young adult phase when they came out. I was older and so they just weren't on my radar and I wasn't reading as much. So I do want to go back and read all of those series to see what the hype was about when it came out. I understand a lot of people have issues with a lot of those series now, um, but I still want to read them. So Twilight is one of them. I have the complete series. I have the complete Divergent series and I have the complete Game of Thrones series minus the next book that who knows if and when it will ever come out. Um, I do not have any of the Hunger Games 
Um, I'm not 100% sure. I have watched the first movie, maybe part of the second, so I'm not 100% sure if I actually want to read it. I don't know. But if I if I do, I may just like check out all the books from the library and binge it or something just so I can say that I've read it to see what it's about. But like I said, I've seen the movies and I don't know if I want to read it. All the other ones, so Divergent, um, Twilight, Game of Thrones, I haven't seen the movies either. And so I just watched the first, the Twilight movie right after I read this book. That was the first time I'd ever seen it. So next one is... The Alienist, this is um, a duology. It's called the Dr. Laszlo Kriesler series or whatever you want to call it. It's only a duology. So I read The Alienist last month. You guys know this book put me in a major reading slump for pretty much the majority of, well actually I finished this this month. I started it in April, finished it in May and it put me in a really, really, really bad reading slump because it was so heavy um thankfully i'm not out of that reading slump and i am reading a lot more but there's a second book in this series called um the angel of darkness i know dr kriesler and maybe some of the other adults in this book are in there um but it's not they're not following the same serial killer it's a whole different case but and i actually had the second book the angel of darkness on my tbr for june to read for one of the prompts for the readathon and i was like no I'm, I'm not doing it to myself i need to put some distance between myself and caleb carr right now um and i don't like i have a very very ambitious tbr planned for june again you guys will see that video in a couple days um and i just don't want to put myself in another reading slump if that book as is as heavy as i think it's going to be i think it's going to be just as heavy because um like i said we're, we're following a different case but i if i'm not mistaken i believe it's a serial killer again um and i believe it's similar style to this it's very very heavy and gruesome so yeah i'm gonna put some uh distance between myself and caleb carr and hold that off for some other time not next month and the last one um i thought it was a duology just looked in here it's a trilogy so this is the legacy of orisha trilogy this is the first book children of blood and bone by tomi Ediemi. i love this book i have the second book which is the children of virtue and vengeance i have heard like unanimously that the second book is nowhere near as good as this one which is part of the reason why i'm scared to read it but it's also supposed to be a trilogy and i'm not sure when the third book is coming out and so I don't want to read the second book and just kind of have a bad taste left in my mouth from it and be waiting on the third book. So I may not finish this until the third book comes out and I may go back and either binge read all of them. Right now, this book is still pretty fresh in my mind. I think I read this in February. Um, yeah, February. So it's still pretty fresh in my mind, but I don't know, like I said, when the third book is coming out. By the time it comes out, with all the fantasy and sci-fi and stuff I'm planning on reading, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be a little fuzzy on this. So I will probably go back and reread this and then read the second and third as well. But I've just, I've not heard the greatest things about the third book. And I just don't want to have, after I love this book so much, I don't want to have a negative feeling about this trilogy while I'm waiting for the third book to come out. So there's that. So these are all of the books that I physically own, or these are all the, the series, excuse me, that I physically own that I am in the middle of. I have a lot more series that I have that I have not started. So I either have complete series, I have um, the first book in a series, the first and second book in a series, something, I have a lot of series on my shelf that I haven't even started yet. And I'm trying to keep myself from starting those series until I get through with some of these, because again, these are 15 series right here that I'm already in the middle of that I have on my shelf. My two year old's at my door right now. So yeah, so let me know in the comment section what series you are currently in the middle of that you are trying to finish up, hopefully before we start new series. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.